cool uh, and I'll share my screen also so we can confirm that it works um, if one of you can please let me know that you can see it basically we have a chat section of the webinar uh, I do invite everybody to uh, please throw out questions as we go along this is supposed to be interactive and it's more for the audience rather than the presenter so if one of you doesn't mind typing into the chat everybody's muted um, for the sake of audio quality that's how the webinar is set up so if one of you can please chat uh, chat me up and let me know if you can see my screen thanks Cool. Uh, so I got the confirmation. It's 202. So why don't we um, just get to it? Up the screen. Okay, cool. Um, uh, this is not going to work. Um, let's get into it. I am uh, using a Mac for one of the first times in my life, so pardon any uh, confusion that might come from it. If I do the whole screen, then I can't see the uh, webinar dashboard, uh, but I think we'll be fine. The agenda is uh, pretty simple. We're going to be talking about photo in uh, an automated filing uh, of photo documentation captured with photo in to box. Uh, and I will uh, show you some cool stuff that uh, I actually presented at BoxWorks last week, um, metadata and automated workflows. But uh, to start it all off, we'll actually just quickly go through why photo documentation, quick photo in overview, and then go into the live demo and a little bit more about the use cases and ROI. And, do have, and we will have some time at the end for questions and answers. But like I said, please do ask them uh, along the way. So uh, why photos? Uh, basically, what do we see? Um, Yahoo has estimated that in 2014, there will be about 880 billion uh, photos uh, taken. Um, yes, they do, do include personal photos uh, and selfies, etc. Uh, but uh, any assumption you make on business photos, construction, field, uh, property management, uh, you can tell that it's a, a big deal. Why it's a big deal? Um, the stats tell us that 90% of the uh, information that brain processes, uh, that it does so in a visual manner, uh, and the visual information is actually 60,000 times faster processed uh, than text. Uh, so this is not a, a typo, literally 60,000 uh, times faster. When, you, when we talk about business photo documentation, basically uh, it enables us to, oh, excuse me, it enables us to um, document conditions in the field uh, and um, any kind of industry that has heavy field um, exposure can benefit from good uh, photo documentation. It is beneficial to the companies themselves, to the clients, and any partners that a company might be working uh, with. So we're talking about documenting field, site and construction, property management, conditions of what goes on in the field. Uh, it is uh, usable for uh, during walks and inspections to basically photo document in a visual way uh, what is seen, uh, report progress on the project or uh, any work done, maintenance, etc. to owners. Uh, daily reporting to have a great audit trail in construction again rfis punch list change orders uh, and can be a very effective tool uh, in reducing any kind of warranty or rework uh, or litigation costs uh, 
why are why we're actually here and sort of talking about it the way the photos are done today sorry for moving the slides uh it is very hard to leverage them you get a bunch of imgs with some random numbers you might have a date but you don't know if that's the date when they were taken or when they were actually filed uh so a, a big archive of a thousand photos uh it's there's a question as to how much you can actually get out of it uh, as we looked at the problem, again, I apologize. As we looked at the problem of the, how the photo documentation is actually captured uh, in the field, we see that it's very cumbersome and costly, and it actually slows down the communication across uh, the business value chain. On the site, the photo and info is, uh, capture is disjointed. There's many tools that are leveraged for one or the other. Uh, it basically doesn't keep it together. And then in terms of actually transferring back to the office, organizing that photo documentation, naming files, et cetera, so that it can be used uh, on the back end for business purposes is very uh, cumbersome and uh, altogether uh, costly. If you break down each one of those processes, you will basically see that there's a lot of manual steps that have to be completed, hence the uh, big time drain uh, on uh, both the guys that are capturing the photos and those that are uh, charged with uh, organizing it and managing uh, the, the photos and the photo documentation. Um, and then when you get it on the back end, like we've seen already, if it's just IMGs and just some random numbers, it's questionable how usable it actually is. When we looked at all those problems, we basically set out to figure out what is the profile of the ideal photo documentation solution so that we can actually solve the problem. Um, given the, the trends in the, in the market today, obviously a mobile, it has to be uh, done easily. Uh, today, that's basically apps uh, to snap, tag, annotate, comment on site photos. Uh, and then have it actually be automatically filed and organized directly to customers' uh, own storage that is uh, seamless and easy to do versus the manual piece. Uh, data must, sorry for the typo, data must go with the photos. So instead of having this disjointed documentation where the context of why the photos were taken and the photos themselves actually being put together rather than photos being some kind of an attachment that is somewhere there, but then when you actually want to look at it, it is hard to match it uh, together with the, with the information uh, around those photos. And then in terms of today's uh, very competitive landscape, uh, the solution should be configurable to meet the, the specific business needs uh, of each business. Um, so in that sense, uh, you want to be able to manage those devices and the users that are actually capturing the photo documentation. You want to be able to configure uh, the organizational piece of it. Um, you want to be able to do your own reports the way you want to, uh, including the tags, uh, et cetera. Um, so, and we will obviously show a little bit more of that. So let me go, um, well, actually, maybe I'll, I'll stop there and just see on photo documentation if there's any questions. Um, I usually do about a 10 second break. so. If somebody has any questions, please let me know just on the photo documentation, any of the stats that you've seen. I usually feel like I'm preaching to the choir because that's why you guys are uh, on, the, on the webinar because you understand that photo documentation is very valuable. So, okay, let's get into the uh, in a little bit about photo in. Photo in is actually the only searchable and automated B2B photo documentation solution where you get to do it uh, yourself without somebody doing it uh, for you. We are headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, as you would expect, targeting markets with heavy field exposure, uh, construction, property management, uh, real estate facilities management, insurance claims, uh, adjusting, and even merchandising. Well, we have strategic partnerships with major cloud storage provider, in this sense, business cloud storage providers, Box, Citrix, ShareFile, uh, and Ignite. Uh, we do have other connectors um, basically to SharePoint, WebDAV to any in-house server, even Oracle's Web Center content, and into its uh, QuickBase, which is another uh, an automated um, workflow app by, uh, well, you create your own app by uh, Intuit. 
we do have plans to connect to the major consumer cloud storage providers including uh, dropbox google drive um, icloud SkyDrive, etc all that's basically in the works and in the pipeline we already have uh, good traction across uh, verticals uh, mainly uh, or initially mainly in uh, construction where it basically makes most sense but even pest control companies uh, all good pest control uh, consulting companies that basically do it for the third parties and that they want to document the work that they do for the uh, owners eagle rock distributing um, beer distributor so merchandising uh, and uh, a, a lot more in trial but this is just some of the uh, bigger ones uh, and earlier ones that we have actually um, signed and that have been using photo for a while so let's go into a little bit about the solution. I will sort of run in th through the high level aspects of it. And then actually I would like to get into a live demo so you see how it works. And uh, th there will be a cool portion where that only rare people have gotten an opportunity to see, which is the meta int uh, integration. Uh, okay, I had a little note that the connection is bad. Hopefully all is good. Uh, so basically there is a mobile app that you will see that simplifies the photo and info capture together it works across mobile devices and there's actually a direct connector to box that files the the photos together with that information to the right uh box folder we will get to see that and as we were talking about configurability there is actually um, a management portal where you can come in and um organize uh, the hierarchy, configure your own tags, projects, uh, reports, and we'll see a little bit uh, more about that. The key, all the data is actually in the photos and it enables us uh, to have photo documentation and actually even use it as a competitive uh, advantage because it enables you to search do uh, photo documentation by keywords um, have a faster and cheaper and easier way to resolve any disputes, ensure that the, the quality of work done in the field and on site is uh, as expected uh, in terms of uh, reporting and leveraging that information with third parties, owners, clients, it will increase uh, their satisfaction because they will be more informed uh, and more timely informed. Uh, and not only that, but you actually get to capture more data uh for business analysis down the line in terms of optimization uh etc and to automate field office workflows again we i will show you today how exactly uh that works with that i'm going to stop it right there and switch over to the air server there we go I got a lot of stuff open, so we're going to have to give it a few seconds to start projecting. There we go. And the latency that you see, that is basically because of the, the, the air server. So that's the icon. So let's go right into it. Uh, we go immediately into the gallery. Again, it's supposed to be really easy to use for the guys uh, in the field. Notice the search capability is right in the app. Um, there's a camera button and an action, but I will go first with a photo. I'm obviously in a conference room, but I can even do something like that for you all to see a window. We will say that we want to use this photo. Notice that it already knows that we are in the photo in headquarters, and I can tap anywhere to add a new annotation. And for the sake of what I'm going to be showing you later, I'm going to call that there's a fracture uh, in on the window. I will now do a swipe from the left with my finger to point out the GPS longitude and latitude, date and timestamp. We do a reverse address lookup and actually associate the address with the GPS location, which device took the app, project based again on the GPS. I will show you how that is uh, specified. And then we leverage this key information to actually name the photo. So now even just with the name of the photo, you will know where it was taken 
what address that is, which device took it, and when exactly uh, it was taken. Again, for the sake of what I'm going to show you later, I'm going to open a request for information on this window fracture, and I'm going to tag the photo as Windows. So you notice a bunch of other uh, tags. Uh, these are configurable, and I'll show you a little bit more there and basically sort of uh, punt on it for a second. Um, here on the right, I'm going to actually force the sync, but you can see that you can uh, email the photo. You can export it to PDF and adjust your uh, settings. There is an automated uh, sync feature, but since I wanted to do it now, I uh, initiated myself. The key thing to point out here is that all the information that you see on the screen is actually embedded in the photo. So basically from this point on, the, the photo and the information travel together. Another uh, important point about the metadata that's in the photos uh, is that you can actually then filter the photos by project address date. And for the wow effect, I'm going to show you the map functionality by picking a device of one of my friends that's been traveling around the world uh, and taking pictures with photo in. So here he is taking going east from uh, Croatia. Notice that it actually works even on the Pacific. And then he made it all the way down through South America, up Africa, back to Croatia. I got a question here. Okay, I will address this uh, uh, when we get to the box piece. Um, the question that uh, Jay had is that uh, data doesn't show up in box. I will show you how you can see them and I will comment on that. So if you don't mind, let me punt on that just for a tad bit. I just want to make sure that we get the sync. Okay, I went back instead of doing <clears throat> this to get it back. Uh, another thing really quickly for the guys that might care a little bit more about the reports to show you that we do have custom reporting functionality. So now depending on your industry, why don't I pick this one? It's the most complicated one we've done thus far uh, and show you basically you can collect just the data. You have the chapters on the left. So let's say you have multiple floors. Uh, you can come here and basically do multiple questions, take photos, comments, uh, do drop downs. Let me do it on one of them. Uh, solutions to again easily capture uh, the information together uh, with the photos. And if needed, we can come back to this aspect in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stop there. So we've seen the mobile aspect of it. I will now show you how that photo ends up uh, on box and what actually happens. But uh, let me stop and see if there's any specific questions on the mobile part of the solution in terms of capturing, uh, tagging, annotating photos and reports. I gave it about 10 seconds, so now I want to actually turn off the from air server to get some bandwidth. And we can come back to it later. Uh, now we're going to do the... <clears throat> so, just a second over here. Uh, now we're uh, basically in box, um, and actually let me refresh, hopefully the photo has shown up by now, we'll see. Uh, this is all the project, this is all the folders that I have for uh, managing uh, photo in as a company. Um, for, for managing photo in as a company. I come in and we do have uh, the functionality where we can uh, file it into the existing uh, folders that you might have on Box. This is the project folder. You will see how the software knows where to actually uh, stick the photo. <clears throat> we did open up that RFI on the window fracture. So here's the, the folder. We go into the Windows 
tag folder and Jay, uh, this is where I'm going to answer the question if the load up finishes appropriately. It's a little stuck. Yeah, as usual, technical difficulties at the most inopportune time. I don't know if you all can see it says that it's waiting for two real time services or box. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so you will see what was going on and why that happened. The task actually already got. Um, um, generated so let me come back to the task and let me first show to jay you come here to metadata uh, and actually you can see all the data that was uh, captured with photo in is actually there uh, on box um, it basically has the project and this can grow and can get bigger like you see here add att attributes based on your tags and what you actually want to end up on box however you configure your photo in mobile app it will actually file all the stuff uh, into box notice that it actually sends the annotation and these uh, pixel coordinates will actually be demonstrated on the photo uh, i was just at box works and they said that uh, they expect this to come out at the end of october they call it the box preview where literally you will see that annotation where you tapped on the photo we obviously already send the data where it's supposed to show but it's their part of the functionality um, that's gonna come out okay we got another question uh, only available through enterprise accounts yes on the box side from our point we send it no matter what it's your data it's your photos but in terms of you being able to see this you have to have a box enterprise account i am i actually do not know the straight up answer whether that is intended that way i know that they roll out all the new functionality first to the enterprise accounts I might actually even go to the team and uh, whatever else they have. But right now, yes, this metadata piece is only on enterprise accounts. Uh, well, actually, I wanted to go back. Oh, actually, the way, let me, uh, I'll come back here because I want to show you what this task is all about. Is there any questions here on photos get ending up in box and actually ending up in the right folder with all the data that we captured? Again, I'll give it about 10 seconds. See if somebody starts writing. Well, we can come back to it. So let me now show you how it gets configured. Definitely draining the internet. So now I'm basically logging into the As you can imagine, we do a lot of testing and playing and demoing. So there's always a different account on here. So basically, in our web management portal, you would come here to folders and tags. Well, well, the, well actually, I guess I didn't even click on it. This is how the, the software knew where to file the photo. It basically went into the fixed folder that I had there. They found the project folder that was photo in headquarters. It found uh, or it created the RFI open folder because that's how I've set it up to do. And then it actually leveraged the construction trade tag to create the subfolder. Any of these, this is how easy it is to do it and click save changes. On the right side, in terms of here's a PM. A type of a tag uh, purpose in terms of safety control qual quality control etc punch list you can set up your own tags and then leverage them for organization sorry about that uh, here's where you would actually set up the projects you can come here on a map and uh, basically set up what you want your uh, it's picking up the address and basically what you want your geofence to be uh, on a project. 
and because of internet issues I'll keep moving through it so that I can come back to the workflow in the reports in terms of rendering you can actually enter your own uh, logo and you can uh, invite multiple people at the same time just by email and you can change their permissions whether they are just um, uploading photos uh, or uh, okay, I got another question in the projects, and I'll address that now. Uh, but, um, upload uh, only or upload and download. Uh, another question that we got, will there be an option for non-circular project areas? Uh, absolutely. Uh, another one, since you asked that, let me throw some more stuff at, as to what's coming. Uh, sub uh, Phases, so basically a project being a larger area, and then you geographically actually splitting the project into some phases or sub-projects or whatever that subcategory might be we will actually have that uh, on the map as well the hope is to have that we have a release coming out uh, next uh, week that has a lot more report uh, functionality and improved sync uh, some more metadata stuff and then the one after that would actually start uh, adding some stuff uh, on the on the back end in terms of uh, management there will be a tab for metadata access um, and actually to be able to see the reports that were generated with photo in app even on the on the server okay we got another one <laughs> uh, great question which storage site is best or do they all have the same info um, they in terms of info since you captured it they will all get the same info in terms of functionality they do not have all the same functionality uh, and since this one is with box i will actually uh, maybe just take this uh, question offline and sort of offer some more information. Uh, you know, they're all our partners and we allow the customer to decide uh, what cloud storage provider they want to use. So if it's not an issue, I will address this issue sort of offline with some extra information. And if other guys are interested uh, in getting, call it a comparison of the three that I mentioned here and the other ones, I'll be happy to share more info. Um, so I'm now coming back to the devices that open up first. You can basically see which devices work with your uh, with your account, and you can even post hoc sort of change the names of the devices. You can have multiple devices uh, for the same user, change the permissions, or even deactivate a device if um, that is of uh, of interest. And um, actually, I'm going to stop there. Any questions on the configuration? So the next or one of the sort of last things to show in terms of the functionality is how you can automate workflows with bots. Any questions on the configuration piece? Okay, let's keep uh, rolling. So uh, I'm actually going to show you. I have uh, in my email, I have a label for box tasks that I get. This is how, so yeah, 2.18, notice the time. There was an automatic uh, task generated for me in box based on the upload of a specific photo and specific uh, data. So I get a reminder. Uh, I can click complete task here or just basically come here because I know it's on this photo uh basically this all happened automatically so because this photo was up, uh, uploaded uh, and it's an rfi open uh, issue it meet the box immediately generated a task for me and then because the task was generated i got an email reminder so this is a simplified version of how you can set up a workflow but basically says this is how fast issue can be communicated commented on the way to resolution uh, so I will actually complete this task um, and actually stop right there to see, you will see something that should be happening while I'm uh, talking, but any questions on, it might look too simplified, but I don't, I want to see if, it, if this is clear as to, you know, photo ends up uh, on box and because box has this functionality of automated workflows, or maybe I can even show you a different way so i will literally go into my admin console and show you uh how that is set up in box this is 
something that Box should be doing for all its customers. But again, the webinar is about both. So here's the RFI demo. And it basically says you can have different rules, tasks, file. There's a policies here that goes on specific tasks. When there's an RFI open, a slide, slide a task and give a description. You will be able to leverage uh, comments and whatever is captured in the field. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, to leverage all that information to set up uh, an automation like this. Uh, I will actually go back. Uh, I got another question about the annotation. So I thought I addressed that, but I do not mind uh, doing it again. So uh, basically the annotation, so I want to go back and actually show. It doesn't show up because Box doesn't, uh, did not finish that part of the functionality. So when I show the metadata, here's the fracture. And these pixel coordinates will actually show up on the photo. They said it should be done by the end of October. So basically it's the box functionality where you're looking at the data that comes up there. And since all this is basically cutting edge stuff, nobody does this. There is a development piece to it where we already do a bunch of stuff uh, in terms of actually seeing it here. They say that it should be done uh, by the end of October. So we are ready for it. As soon as they are, you will be able to see it. The cool thing is it will actually be for your old photos as well. So in a sense that anything that has been captured with photo in, uh, as soon as they are finished with their part of the functionality, these pixels are actually going to be showing up, will be leveraged to show up the annotation on the photo itself. I hope that addressed uh, the question. If not, feel free to, okay. Okay, cool. No problem. It sounds like that's, that they did address the question. Any other um, comments on the, the automated workflow and this uh, task getting generated? Okay, now let me see if I got, yeah, I did. Now check this out. Oh, this is just a complete. So there's going to be another task that I'm going to get because this task has been finished. So basically you can do multiple tasks on top of each other. Um, again, we didn't have many questions. Now I would need to know how to go back to my presentation. Just a second. Let's see right here. <clears throat> So the next piece that I would like to discuss and sort of reflect on uh, is the use cases. And again, I think uh, each one of you in terms of your uh, pieces. So here's a little bit more about Box uh, to the extent you're interested in security, access, share with links, uh, permissions. Um, is, should I be showing some of that basic uh, stuff? Maybe, maybe I should have. So. I can always go a little bit back and show you what you can actually do with these photos um, and folders uh, on Box. So notice here because my photo in demo projects are uh, shared with uh, my coworkers, I can actually, if let's say you want to invite an owner and you want to say, uh, you basically type in their name, this is one of the coolest things about these business uh, cloud providers you can actually have different permissions. So basically um, you can say that somebody just has the right to view and share or just preview or just upload. You can basically set up a bunch of different permissions. If you don't want them to stay in the folder and see everything that goes on in the folder, but you want to give them a link, again, you can do that. Uh, and on enterprise customers, you can actually do a bunch more stuff in terms of... Um, expiring links, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, some other stuff that Box does, um, they are integrated with a bunch of other things to the extent that you want to leverage uh, Box as your uh, platform uh, for doing most of the work. So integrated with Google, even three, uh, Office 365. Um, again, a bunch of options in terms of uh, sharing. You can sync it down to your computer if you would like to work from the computer rather than having to go uh, to the web. Um, one thing, um, Box Note, this is one of those um, like um, 
yeah, it would be hard to show it without two people working on it, but maybe we'll, we'll start one right here to show you how that works. So this, anything that I write here, and if somebody else was working on this box note as soon as it gets created, we can see each other's typing as it's actually happening. So like literally uh, real time, if you have good internet, <laughs> real time uh, collaboration, uh, even just on a file. So it's sort of like your word that uh, in real time gets uploaded with um, any changes that are done to it. So you see my name and now if I share this with somebody and they were working on it the same time as I did, we would see each other picture, uh, each other's pictures uh, and be talking and be uh, sort of uh, collaborating in real time as to what we think is going on. It's sort of like a document and chat put together. Uh, obviously, all the word uh, stuff that you're used to. So that's one of the things. Uh, and there is a bunch of other stuff in a sense. I encourage you to basically come and uh, you know explore it yourself if you're not already a box uh, customer in terms of um, managing the users, managing your files, connect. You know, there's a bunch of other one cloud apps that can be uh, leveraged in this uh, sort of ecosystem. Uh, that box has created any questions there if there is i can always uh, i can always come back um we did go through the management portal and i'll basically just skip through that uh some other stuff we did see the reports we did see the map the reports can be customized to whatever your uh, needs are you can import uh, photos that they have not been taken in photo in app and if they have the gps and date associated with them we will do the address and allow you to tag and annotate uh, here is another one where i can tell you what's sort of coming we there is this issue sort of uh, as we are all changing as to what's going on in the marketplace and how we do work uh, the issue of inheritance so another thing that we're hoping to have done by the end of october is a web filer where basically you might end up spending a few hours, but basically take, let's say, thousands of photos that you already have and be able to file them through the same uh, system with photo in so that all your photos all of a sudden become uh, searchable. So even the ones that you had in the past, uh, we did get questions about you uh, in this in terms of this import that not do one photo at a time, but actually do multiple photos uh, that is also uh, coming. So one of the cool things about um, working with us is that the, the people that sort of um, want to try it out uh, even before all the you know the, the, the features and functionalities are going to be continuously added we're going to continue to grow the solution and it's all included uh, in the in the monthly fee in the monthly service fee together with the support so let's get a little bit more specific on uh, what does this really mean you know functionalities are one thing but what are really the use cases uh, and the benefits in terms of documenting site field property conditions uh, hopefully you've seen how easy it is and that you can basically save a lot of time in terms of capturing both photos and information um, in terms of how much time gets saved we've uh, had uh, measurements up to 20 minutes per hour of taking photos if you compare the old way of doing it uh, in terms of capturing and filing photos which can literally translate uh, the, for people that do a lot of this and it's really important to them if you have a bunch of uh, guys out in the field doing it you can imagine how it multiplies quickly but basically you can save thousands of dollars just in time in terms of capturing and uh, filing the photos um, quality control uh, you've seen how basically whenever there's an issue you don't really have to come back to the office to share that with whoever is supposed to help you fix it you can have immediate collaboration on defects and issues directly from the field. Uh, there is no back and forth communication. If you remember that slide, there's no longer delays in getting the information and the visuals and the whole photo documentation to where it can uh, be used to resolve whatever the issues are. Uh, safety inspections uh, and reports, again, because all the information that's captured is uh, embedded in the reports and photos as metadata, all of a sudden you can uh, literally search and analyze and basically figure out what's going on over periods of time, over um, 
categories, subcategories, devices, users, subcontractors, whatever it may be. Uh, and obviously, it should result in a safer work in, uh, environment and better safety compliance, which in turn should help you uh, even reduce insurance premiums. In terms of uh, reporting progress to owners, you're getting automated filing. You've seen how you can share it. You've seen how servers can send you notifications and automate uh, workflows so that uh, there's less reliance on somebody manually doing something uh, and actually remembering that they need to uh, go through the extra uh, extra step. Uh, and for those that are in construction, uh, it will literally save you a lot of thousands of dollars in terms of not having to hire somebody else uh, to do it for you. You already got have guys in the field. Uh, you can basically standardize on one photo documentation solution for your multiple needs and not have to pay Multivista uh, to come out there and do it for you. In terms of warranty, litigation, any kind of disputes with owners uh, in terms of quality of work, you're getting embedded data into the photo. You're getting the visual proof with GPS, date, timestamp, uh, and any other annotations that the work has been completed. This is what has been done. Uh, basically, um, one of these uh, can literally pay for photo in for uh, solving multiple uh, of these. There's no teardowns. There's no, well, there's less teardowns, less... Uh, rework or if it's getting done, everybody's clear as to why it's getting done versus uh, lack of communication and flow of information uh, causing the issues. And as you can, uh, as actually now that I'm thinking about it, we did not show you how easily it is to search the photos. So to the extent that you don't mind, let me demonstrate that really quickly. So I've typed in uh, our fracture, and here's the photo that has the annotation in it. So literally in seconds, you can get all your fractures or whatever your standardized process might end up uh, stipulating, uh, and not just uh, on box. I also should have probably spent another extra second here. So here's the multivariate search by photos. You can literally look at multiple devices, locations, even date ranges, different tags, or so I'm going to do a different one here. We do a lot of demos. So here's all the chairs that have been done. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm in Dylan's. This is my co-worker's computer, so I'm in his uh, photo in account. But basically, it's that easy uh, to search for the photos. And maybe uh, before the open Q&A uh, session uh, to talk about a little what, I, what is the key to implementing a successful photo documentation strategy. Again, communicating, letting everybody know how important it is and what are the uh, end benefits for the business, including the users. One thing that I like is that we basically help everybody in the process. The guys in the field, the guys in the office, and even the executives and the business users of the information uh, and the data everybody's getting uh, the better end of the deal the guys in the field are saving time it's much easier for them to do it they don't have to do it when they get home they don't have to do it over the weekends the guys in the office can concentrate on other higher value added activities versus actually filing photos that come from the field and then business uh, users uh, even executives in terms of planning budgeting uh, in terms of analysis, what is going on in the field and getting timely information uh, to react faster, everybody's getting uh, uh, the benefit. We've already discussed uh, the thousands in warranty or litigation costs that can be uh, saved. But not only that, you uh, might leverage uh, this, uh, I think I mentioned before, as a competitive advantage and win extra deals because you are on the cutting edge in terms of technology and the value that you provide, not just to your business users and executives, but to your clients. Uh, you can be uh, potentially handing over this type of photo documentation that can help uh, uh, with management down the line, or in terms of selling a property, show that there was no deterioration of value. It's sort of with the cars. You want to know, even if the wreck fixed it, you still want to know whether there was a wreck or not uh, when you're buying, when you're buying the car, and obviously in terms of progress and enhancing um, safety, quality of work uh, uh, in the field. 
I will stop there and basically see if there's any open questions. Anything and everything goes, so feel free to ask anything that you might be interested in. We got another 15 minutes, so I think that's a, enough time, even if somebody wants to go back to any of these pieces. Anybody? Okay, we're getting something. Uh, great question. Uh, can users delete photos? Uh, here's how uh, this works. Yes, on the mobile app, uh, to the extent uh, you just don't want to see some photos, uh, but in terms of deleting it on the back end, uh, we have made that an admin only function. It's a matter of control. If the guys in the office want to see everything that happens in the field, they might not want, uh, allow the ability for the guys on site uh, to be able uh, to not show what they actually captured. Uh, so the way we made it is that after it's uh, synced, you can actually delete it from the mobile app, but it stays on the back end. And then if the admin reaches out to us, uh, we can clean up uh, the account even on the back end. This is another one, uh, as you can tell already, the, the team is allowing more admin and configuration um, functionality on the back end to the admins. Uh, we basically have all this because that's what we leverage to provide the service to you. Uh, we uh, define it as live uh, beta and the editors are basically going to be live again, but the, the server release is most uh, most of that stuff uh, we are trying to fit into the October uh, release so basically you will get the uh, ability to file into the fixed folders uh, by yourself versus asking us to do it and not do it by just the tags but actually even by other logic that can be applied uh, edit your own custom reports again versus asking I mean our turnaround is about 10 minutes if needed uh, on a custom report uh, and again assuming that it's a paying customer uh, but we do plan to make that uh, uh, functionality live uh, so that any end user can uh, do it themselves uh, same thing goes for deleting photos uh, for the inheritance on the old photos and let me add uh, another one which is reorganization uh, we do try to share the best practices in terms of how to set up the filing hierarchy and organization in advance. But, you know, we do live in a, live in a fluid world where things do change. Uh, so there is a functionality of actually coming back and saying, well, now I wish I didn't have the date folders because the photos are automatically uh, uh, listed by date. So I don't really want a folder for every date. I want to reorganize all the photos that I have done with photo in. We do have that service, and we will make that one uh, also available uh, for the admin on the web. I think I got another one. How are devices added? Uh, I can actually even quickly show that. The easiest way to do it is to go to the admin uh, portal to the company setting page, uh, bottom left figure out whether you want them to see each other's photos or just upload, type in their email, invite them. They will get an email that's asking them to download the app and click on a link within the email. Based on that click of the link, uh, photo and will know that that device has been authorized to uh, access the account that invited it. Do photos auto sync from the device or do you have to tap the sync tab each time? Uh, there's both options. Um, now I'm thinking whether I should go into the um, Air server, but maybe I skip that uh, for now. Basically, in the app, on the uh, settings, you click the top right action menu, you go into the settings, you can um, decide whether you want to use mobile network for seeking or only use Wi-Fi, whether you want the auto sync or you want it to be when you tell it to sync. Obviously, auto sync... Uh, 
you don't have to really think about it, but at the same time, maybe you want to be in control when it's syncing and when it's not, just like with the mobile network. You can adjust uh, photo quality in the in the app as well, and there's going to be a lot more stuff coming there as well. So yes, there is auto sync, and I guess I'm just providing a little bit more information. Let me see. If I could have it here to show you on. Um, yeah, we don't have a screenshot for settings. I would have to do the air server. Let me know if you want me to do that or if I explained it well enough, I'll just let it be. Anybody else? Thank you very much, guys, for the questions. I'm not leaving yet, but I do want to thank you for, for asking. I think all this is relevant. Uh, we do not mind uh, following up uh, after the webinar. Uh, that, I guess I'll leave this slide on. For those that are not already uh, talking to us, uh, support at PhotoIn, sales at PhotoIn, uh, Sly at PhotoIn. If you want to talk to me directly, we can do it uh, post, but please do ask any questions that you want me to answer right now. How about we do another 15 seconds? If I see somebody writing, I'll uh, slow down, but maybe I can get some time back. That's not a sin in today's world. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you very much, Jay. Uh, and I guess I'll just go ahead and say uh, thank you all very much for joining us. Um, we do have a webinar uh, a week. We do have a lot of things coming out. We have a lot of partners. A lot of cool stuff to show uh, with um, different stuff with different one of them. Uh, please do contact us if you have any uh, further questions or want to discuss uh, anything that you want to discuss. Uh, please do uh, let your friends and colleagues uh, and anybody else know uh, that they can uh, freely turn to us for any questions uh, or any support that we can give. Thank you all very much. It's been a pleasure.